This is Sandile Mansoui. He was an entrepreneur and a forex trader and had great successes in the forex trading industry. His successes in the forex trading market had seen him opening up his own company and running it very successfully. How are you doing? It's Sansa, Trillion Dollar Legacy, Petu Kabza, JR, Steve Ovo. A good boy. This guy had everything going for himself until Sandile Mansui was caught on his building's CCTV footage struggling to take out a black rubbish bin. And at the same time, his girlfriend, Karabo Mokwena, went missing. Now, of course, her friends put their main suspicion on Sandile Mansui as they have previously reported that this is a very abusive and violent boyfriend. And he had beaten up Karabo Mokwena several times and kicked her as well. When they confronted him about her whereabouts, he just shrugged them off but one thing that they noticed was a wet carpet in the apartment and when they asked him about it he said that his fridge leaked this was an obvious lie and i'm very certain karabo's friends didn't believe him when the police reviewed the cctv footage they noticed something the bin that sandile was pushing on the 28th of april 2017 was really heavy and he was struggling. As soon as police noticed this, they decided to interrogate him about it. And I need you guys to keep in mind that all of this was happening while both of these individuals had assault cases going on against each other. When first interrogated, he lied and he said that he saw her the previous day, which was the 27th of April 2017. I asked Sandula about the airport of Karab. And he said no. He last saw her on the 27. But CCTV footage suggests that they were together on the 28th as well, the fateful day of Karabo's death. That also happens to be the last time the cameras took footage of Karabo, alive that is. Upon the interrogation by a different cop, Sandile confides in him and admits that he killed Karabo in the most brutal way. And suddenly, the wet carpet made sense. He did all of this while still being cool, calm, collected and still charming. He was calm. He was calm. He said it is correct. I can't tell. Because when you look at him, the way he speaks, you can see, no, this person is quite honest. See. Almost like someone that could never commit such heinous crimes. A characteristic that makes him look like the court describes him, a devil in disguise. The court cannot describe you in any other way than a devil in disguise. She did not deserve to perish at your hands in the way that she did. And despite all that happened and what he did, he still believes he was the victim. I tried to be a positive influence in her life, but it's unfortunate that I came into her life at a point where things were already bad. So, yeah, maybe I'm guilty of trying to build a person and being the last one there when she collapsed, you know. So, the, the truth of the matter is, I, I, I tried my best to, to make the best of the guys, can we... so, yeah. Sandile Mansoui has since been sentenced to 32 years in prison and he remains there despite claims of him roaming the streets of South Africa. The effective sentence is there for 32 years. So when you guys see people like Pabalo Noko speaking out, do not easily turn a blind eye to this and just say, oh, she chose this life for herself. I need you guys to remember, Karabo Mokwena didn't choose to die. That tragic choice was taken away from her.